Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at a capacitance meter. It's the CM71115A. It strictly does capacitance, does not do anything else, resistance, diode, ohms, none of the above. No, this is strictly a capacitance meter. So if you want to have a little handy dandy tool close to the workbench, say you're changing an LCD screen and a monitor, um, these are always great to have for a uh, a quick check. Um, let's get right to it. So what do you get? Well, you get a box, a very plain box, which I'm unable to locate at the moment, but there's nothing in the box. There's no instructions, anything, strictly the meter and a set of leads. The meter itself, it's uh, got a plastic housing, um, decent quality. The uh, standing bale in the back is okay, but it's the kind of Flippy kind, floppy. But once it's on the, the bench, it uh, doesn't move. You can change it with one hand. It has a zero adjust, so if you have any sort of um, misreading, uh, you're out a little bit, you can always bring it back to a, a zero level. I've only had to use that twice since I've had the meter. Um, it goes all the way from 200 pico to 20 megafarad. The off switch is both left and right. Has a low battery, I'm sorry, a little battery indicator. Will come on when your uh, battery is getting low. As well as the probes, it also has the little what would you call those crevices where you can stick your capacitor inside? Um, depending what you like. I usually use the leads. I'm not a big fan of the uh, little slots, but it's whatever works for you. So we're going to test uh, for capacitors and we'll just see how it works. Here we go. We're going to start with this little guy. 0.1 microfarad. Whoops, sorry about that. All the way from Japan. This is uh, quite an old cap. Probably at least 35 years old. Alrighty. I put the leads on. 0.1 microfarad. 200 nano, so there we are, 0.1 microfarad. Now, because it's manual ranging, you do have to toggle the selector switch to indicate the preference of your range. However, it's not such a big deal, and I've got no complaints. So that's spot on. Let's try another one. This came out of my iPod. Just kidding. Another old I don't know where this one came from. I actually inherited this one. Hook it up and let's see what we get. So there we are again. One microfarad. And that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It says plus minus minus 20% tolerance. Um, once again, this is old as the hills, so uh, still good though. Moving up the line, these are more recent capacitors. This is a Gemacom 35 volt, 2200 microfarad. So now we're going to have to increase, go up to the 20 megafarad range. Now, here we have to make sure we have the proper leads attached so all capacitors have an indicator indicating the negative slot. So we attach the black to the negative, the red to the positive, 
and we should have 2200 microfarad. 2.2 microfarad. So we're just under two. Okay, there we are. Bring it here to the 2000 range. A little over, a little under. Yeah, so it's around 2000 microfarad. So that's a good cap. And finally, KMG. Not KFC, that's KMG. So it ain't Kentucky Fried Goodness, no. This is 25 volt, 4,700 microfarad. And make sure we have the proper leads, plus and minus. 4.7, survey says 4.28, 4.3. If we bring it up to the other range, we are over, so back. So it's well within spec. Now as well, like I was saying, you do have the other slots here. So if you wanted to, you could lose the leads. And once again, the indicators are here, plus and minus. Make sure your cap is set up the right way. And away you go. And I'm not in, sorry. It's one of the reasons I don't like these little We have long legs on your cap like this, tends to be problematic. Okay, so there we are. Yep, it's pretty well the same reading, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, it's fairly fast, as you can see. You know, I like it just because, you know, who you don't always need a big honk and a multimeter on your desk. Um, it's good size, it's small. Portable, throw it with you in your toolbox if you need be. I've used it to replace quite a few monitors and I'm happy. Um, cost on this was around $30 Canadian, so about 25 US dollars. I've got no complaints. And I think what we'll do is we'll take a quick peek under the cover and just see what we have in there. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. So we have no shielding. Not a big deal. I usually re replace batteries. Uh, in this case, I have not. This is the original battery. Creely. Okay. Interesting. At least it matches the, the PCB. Very color coordinated. Awesome. Alrighty, so inside, there you go. Not much to it. We just have our trim pots. And what else? Caps, some resistors, surface mount. IC's got the cob on top, so I have no idea. I'm not going to go any further than this because there's a lot of little screws and I just don't think we're going to see anything untowards that we haven't seen already. Good basic build quality. Um, at the top it says 7115A. PCB itself, it says 1105.16, so perhaps this manufactured November 2016, maybe. Anyway, there you have it. Not a lot to see. Always fun to take a look, though. Chances are, if you're watching my videos, then you really like to see what's inside of these little guys. It's really surprising sometimes, you know, you can get a multimeter that uh, doesn't look like much on the outside. You take it apart and, wow, it's really 
Interesting. So there we are. So that's it for the review. Pretty simple, straightforward. It's a capacitor tester. That's all it does. It does a good job. It's a nice little meter. Nothing fancy. Perhaps it's a little bulky. I don't know if that'll bother some people, but honestly, on my tool bench, it's uh, perfect. Um, it's usually always out. I usually always have it on the bench, and um, it's there when I need it. So, all in all, I'll give this guy a solid four out of five. I did forget to mention, always a good idea to discharge capacitors before connecting, and these were already discharged, so no need to worry. Alrighty, folks, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming shortly. In the meantime, keep on testing. Take care.